Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why did you do that anyway? I don't know. I, I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. We well, did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. Well, hey guys, Craig here. Welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Is It Danny. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. But in the previous episode, we finished off the first day in court. Pretty intense. Also, okay, now I was so glad I did. I was pressing right and it went down. I was, and I was still pressed right and went to talk. So I, but I think I was just like a random glitch I got. Oh no, I just did it again. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. But today, we are going to be continuing on our Ace Attorney adventure. Which is going to be really fun. And also, a bit of news that we got for you. Um, for people who've known, I've been doing um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 Race with Bobbery 18 over on his channel for about... Sad thing is probably over two years or maybe closing in two years, I'm not sure. Uh, neither of us are happy about that, but and he was stuffing me entire way, let's be honest here. But the race is over now, I'm not gonna say he wins, but surprisingly, in Bobbery 18's own words, the most intense ending to versus he's had yet. So I do definitely recommend you go check it out. It'll probably be out before PAX. So I would say probably in the next week or two, um, the verses will be over on his channel and I do recommend for everyone to do it. But this isn't an update video, this is Ace Attorney. So let's go on into it. I just did this now because I know I've never have a time to talk. Okay, into the actual video. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Kamishi was just here now. He said, he said, see it as your first defense, we'll go after questioning. Oh! Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay off for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess I'll send you a bill or something. Why do I <laughs> picture giant bills of money every time I hear the word bail? Nah! <laughs> <laughs> Any luck on me? Finally I got the right name. None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what I could do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. Sounds like she really did her best. I should check and see if there's any waterfalls. <laughs> oh, glory. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. I just bought something hilarious. Why is she not channel a male person and then just disguise herself and then walk out of prison helps? Someone has locked me and I know that would not work at all, but that would be hilarious. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Is there anything we can present? There's nothing really we can present here. I guess we'll just have to move out. So let's go back to Gord Lake, I guess. To see if there's anything here. So, also by the way, this, this area here, in my opinion, is one of the most pointless screens in the entire game. Like, they could have just brought you straight into Gord Lake, and I'm pretty sure only Gumshoe is here, and you literally could have had him in the next room. But, rant, mini rant over, let's go into the public beach. So okay, um, there's nothing here. <laughs> Let's check up on Lotta, Lotta Hot. Oh, well it's Gumshoe, not Lotta. Hey Detective Gumshoe. Hey pal. The trial today at, uh, yeah? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say a good show, but it wasn't really all that. You did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know. Uh, thanks. <laughs> we ended up being one who thanked you, damn Edgeworth. Let's ask him about tomorrow's trial. The tactic comes you. Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? 
It sounds like he's bringing in a lover witness. A lover witness? Or I did say something about not finding a trial today. There were, there were two witnesses. Was that really it? He didn't even need that. Jesus. I was wondering who the other witness was. Uh, who was it? So, sorry, pal. So what does I like to? Not liberty to divulge my information. Right. Jesus, you, you're trying to protect him. Just tell us. Alright, I want to ask you something about Edgar. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgar doesn't talk about himself too much, you see. But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes, it all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Jeez. Uh, you have to admit, this has went so dark so quickly. <laughs> That's why I love this game. I'm not sure if it's really let's playable game though, now that I've gotten into it. Don't regret doing it though, I'm loving it. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not out in bail yet? That's strange. I don't let her go since I found her in Portugal. Man. I don't know what would happen in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her get dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you pal, I shed a tear or two. Mr. Andrew was so moved, I saw his, <laughs> I saw his lip trembling. Really? Told us Ice Edgeworth? He's really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm gonna head back to the station. I've got to report in my and get her out for her as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh wait, um, I was wondering how much this bill will be. Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is po posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? Grateful for her for what she did. All right, pal. I'll well, don't forget to pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent too. I was literally about to go. Damn it, Edgeworth! Why didn't you pay pay bill? Damn it. He has to ruin everything, doesn't he? It's unpaid, so I can complain about it. Let's check if there's any updates in the book rental shop. Looks like the book rent shop's closed today too. This is the most, um, no, I'm only joking. That is the most useful, sc useless screen. Jeez. I mean, let's break in and have a look inside. The thing is, I don't even think there's a even gonna be anyone else standing here, if I can remember. And if they are, it's not even a very memorable part. The country's not here. Country's seen Okay, okay, really? It's a live wire about one. Don't you fight with the chief, chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet, when, I bet he wouldn't help them build a case against Edgeworth. Uh, let's have a look. Um, can we talk to this guy? Let's see, chief detectives here. Excla I always love whenever you watch him. Clear his eyes on the computer screen. What? Rick the Bishop 7? Checkmate! I don't believe it. He must be playing chess on the computer. Yep, each time you come in, he isn't working and it's hilarious. There's always this, these different things. Alright. Sure, it's quiet here with no, nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Let's have a look. Maybe we can talk to Maya more? Yep. Or Maya Edgeworth. Hey, Nick, you finally came. We just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free the last day. Those interrogators are really mean. They're like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some type of criminal, can you believe that? Well, they did let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me, thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. He said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up for him to... We have to win this case, Nick. Lamau. <laughs> So it's just. <laughs> so I bet that was the be best line I've ever heard. So what did you do this time? <laughs> what to do? 
What do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in clues department. Go to the park and look for Gordy. I was kidding. Still there aren't any clues out there. Actually, that's a good idea. We need to look for Gordy because for some reason... There's just something... Let's say something very coincidental, but... Oh, what the hell? Okay, I must have been pressing R. No. What did I say pressing? Hey, yo. It's not. It's hey, yo. <laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh over most two things. Yo really did do it today. What do we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self reflection, you might say. I realized as being a bit of a witness of my big responsibility. I just went up there and saw blabbing any old thing that came to my mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up for it to y'all. Make it up? Oh. Wait, are we actually going to learn about Gordy? <laughs> or might be maybe something about Von Karma's strategy? So what do you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I can't convince myself I had though. I'm sorry, I know it caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is tricky. Vague little thing. Yeah, I know that now. I'll be fine next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder. So let's ask her about Gordy. Gordy must have something to do with us. What about Gordy? Right. Well, I figure the trial's only stuck in the flames of Gordy fever. I come out exclusive foes and rockets get at him. You're right, Lotta. You go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer like you two. There's your speed, spared medium training first. And we all know now, about 17 years later, she hasn't finished because of Ace Attorney 6. How, how many years? That, that must be like 17 years after this. I mean, maybe it's not that long, but it's probably like 10 now I think about. Lara, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. But what information? Now we're getting into the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. E exchange Um, I thought this was to make it up for us. Right! I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information doesn't come cheap, my friend. Uh, hey. I see you thinking. Ma, how uncivil, unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's all written all over your faces. Let me tell you, way southerners are way more sophisticated than you. But this is, I'm just the exception, okay? A little bit. We got deal or not? Uh, well, what do we do now? Nah. Let's be honest here, we don't have any other choice. Deal. Deal or no deal. To favor our lead, so I guess we have to have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You're completely off your rocker. I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen, dude. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But... But Gordy d doesn't, I mean, Gordy might not exist. But bring me proof he shows he doesn't. Uh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? If you say something, y'all come to me first, got him? Oh, okay. Rad, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean Gordy, I sure do. Oh, but Edruff. We're searching for Gordy for Mr. Edgeworth, okay? I don't know what she said, but probably around that thing. Okay, how do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. Hmm. Well, I did say that we need to find Gordy probably is one of the main things. 